Freivold's algorithm is a probabilistic randomized algorithm used to verify matrix multiplication. Given three n times n matrices A, B, and C, a general problem is to verify whether A times B equals C. A naive algorithm would compute the product A times B explicitly and compare term by term whether this product equals C. However, the best-known matrix multiplication algorithm runs in O time. Freivold's algorithm utilizes randomization in order to reduce this time bound to O with high probability. In O time the algorithm can verify a matrix product with probability of failure less than the algorithm. Input 3 n times n matrices A, B, C. Output yes, if A times B equals C, no, otherwise. Procedure generate an n times 1 random 0 over 1 vector. Compute. Output, yes, if, no, otherwise. Error if A times B equals C, then the algorithm always returns, yes. If A times B C, then the probability that the algorithm returns, yes, is less than or equal to 1 half. This is called one-sided error. By iterating the algorithm k times and returning yes, only if all iterations yield yes, a runtime of O and error probability of one half k is achieved. Example. Suppose one wished to determine whether a random two element vector with entries equal to zero or one is selected, say, and used to compute. This yields the zero vector, suggesting the possibility that ab equals c. However, if in a second trial the vector is selected, the result becomes. The result is non-zero, proving that in fact ab c. There are four two elements zero over one vectors, and half of them give the zero vector in this case. So the chance of randomly selecting these in two trials is one twenty-second or one quarter. In the general case, the proportion of R yielding the zero vector may be less than one half, and a larger number of trials would be used, rendering the probability of error very small. Error analysis. Let P equal the probability of error. We claim that if A times B equals C, then P equals zero, and if A times B C, then P one half. Case A times B equals C this is regardless of the value of, since it uses only that. Hence the probability for error in this case is, case A times B C let where, since we have that some element of is non-zero. Suppose that's the element. By the definition of matrix multiplication, we have, for some constant, using Bayes' theorem, we can partition over, we use that. Plugging these in the equation, we get. Therefore, this completes the proof. Ramifications. Simple algorithmic analysis shows that the running time of this algorithm is O, beating the classical deterministic algorithm's bound of O. The error analysis also shows that if we run our algorithm k times, we can achieve an error bound of less than an exponentially small quantity. The algorithm is also fast in practice due to wide availability of fast implementations for matrix vector products. Therefore, utilization of randomized algorithms can speed up a very slow deterministic algorithm. In fact, the best-known deterministic matrix multiplication verification algorithm known at the current time is a variant of the coppersmith winograd algorithm with an asymptotic running time of O. Freivold's algorithm frequently arises in introductions to probabilistic algorithms due to its simplicity and how it illustrates the superiority of probabilistic algorithms in practice for some problems.